so cancers we start with the present in your in your uh, I'm sorry we'll start with the past okay so to the very left we have the two cards and so in your past it's the ace of swords okay now the ace can mean that you are ready to start something new or in the past you were looking to start something new and if you were in a committed relationship it can it could have indicated that there was something about that relationship that you chose to put a stop to. You didn't hesitate to speak your mind. If something in that relationship was hurtful or bad for you, it looks like you lost, maybe you lost your partner because you said no. You haven't really lost. You are definitely being guided toward a relationship that was better for you. So it's always best to speak your mind and tell the truth. And that card is paired with judgment. Okay. And so basically, it looks like in that relationship in the past, it was basically a make or a break period. That was basically time to get very, very clear about what you wanted out of life and out of your relationships. And then you it looks like you took steps to make it come about. So if you were seeking new love or a new relationship, that probably probably came about or it came about in the near future, but you probably needed to take steps to make sure that you weren't leaping to conclusions positive or negative about your new love or the new romance that came about or vice versa. You kept in mind that slow and steady wins the race. So that was in your past. So let's move on to the, to the present. And that's at the very top. And that would be the devil card is in your present, okay? So, basically, if you're in a long-term relationship, romantic relationship, one or both parties may have gotten to the point where they feel as though they're trapped or trapped in a situation. If you're getting signals that this is the case, then try to talk about it to your partner. If you want to save the relationship, this is definitely what you need to do. Communicate more. Okay, so now the devil card is also, it also sometimes appear, it'll sometimes appear when there is really nothing to be done but to end an unhappy relationship. We always have choices, remember that. So take steps to keep the magic alive. If you are seeking love, this may be a signal, a signal that you're reaching the, the point of desperation, okay? All right, so that's the devil card, and that one is paired with the three of pentacles. Okay, so with the Three of Pentacles in a love question, the Three of Pentacles is a very good card, particularly if you already know someone that you're interested in. 
This tells you that they see you in a positive light as someone who has the qualities that they are looking for, although love has not quite developed yet. So there is a need for patience. So basically, if you're unattached but looking for love, this card indicates that you are most likely to meet someone through your work or through theirs. So make sure to keep your eyes open. So with those two cards paired together, the Devil card and the Three of Pentacles is basically saying if you're in a relationship, you, you may need to rethink the relationship, have some discussions, talk about it. Uh, if there's problems in the relationship and you're not happy there, just remember you always have choices but the choices could definitely be with the new love coming along because with the three of pentacles it's saying it's showing the card shows that someone uh you're likely to meet someone through your work or or another love interest may be coming so to keep your eyes open so now that's in your present okay so now we move on to the challenge okay the challenge starts with the five of swords now the five of swords with that card you're unfortunate excuse me with the five of swords appearing conflict is near okay things may not work out as you would hope with a love relationship Think calmly and carefully about what your deal breakers are in a relationship. So be honest with yourself first, then be honest with your loved ones. Accept the reality. That card is paired with the Six of Pentacles. Now the Six of Pentacles, it's, show, it's showing that if you're in a committed relationship, Okay, the Six of Pentacles points to a happy, generous, a happy, uh, generous, fair and balanced relationship for at least a while. So allow your loved one to give you, whether that's in the material or spiritual realm, allow them to give you And at the same time, make sure that you are doing your fair share of giving in the relationship. So basically, okay, what I'm seeing in the cards, it looks like you need to allow your loved one to give to you, okay? It could be material or spiritual. And at the same time, make sure you're giving to the relationship, okay? So let's see what else I can see in the cards. It's, okay, it looks like it looks like if you're unattached but looking, when this card shows up, you're likely to meet someone new who is positive, kind, and generous. Okay, this may come about by way of introduction from someone you know. So make sure to let people know that you are looking for a partner. So basically with these two cards paired together, the Five of Swords is saying that things may not work out for you as you would have hoped in a love relationship. And then the, the Six of Pentacles is saying, um, let people know, your friends know that you're on the lookout, you're looking for a partner. So things could turn around that way. And then that's going to be your challenge. Now, your outcome, the cards to the very right, starts with the star card. And this is your outcome, which is very good. Okay, this is an excellent time to meet someone new if you're in the market for a new relationship. Although it's not impossible 
that love may simply knock on your door. Okay, it is more likely that you will need to get out there and mingle though. It looks like a new relationship could happen at any time, so don't turn down any invitations. If you're already in love and committed, then your relationship may well be ready to move to the new to move to a new level. One that is not only higher, but is more fulfilling. So make the most out of this opportunity and build on it. Now this card is paired with the Page of Swords. Okay, with the Page of Swords, it points to mild conflict. Okay, so know when to push and when to back off. Many fights, back off many fights and discussions are not actually worth having. So back off of those type of fights, as long as your partner is treating you with respect. Allow your partner to have his or her space. This is crucial for happiness. So if you're unattached, get out and mingle. Love doesn't drop out of the sky by itself. Remember that. Okay, these two cards paired together with the star card. It's an excellent time to meet new people okay and and the star card says it's, it's not impossible that love may simply knock at your door but with the page of swords it's it's basically saying that love doesn't drop out of the sky so uh you need to get, get out there for happiness and mingle and you know just try to stay away from conflicts and and fights un unnecessary conflicts and fights so that was your reading okay cancer i hope it's a great month for you i want to thank you so much for watching and have a great day